Okay, objective two. Now we're going to look at finding probabilities using these uh, sampling distributions of the sample mean X bar. So we have an activity edge elastic, just like last two sections talking about the shape of the sampling distribution. So go ahead and pause this video, go do that activity, and then come back. All right, so now that you've returned from the activity, uh, this note should mean something to you. So again, the note says, if the population distribution is normal, if your population is normal, then your sampling distribution of the sample mean X bar will also be normal, no matter what the sample size is. This is very important, okay? Again, uh, if you remember from the activity, the top, the top graph was the population, and we kept it as normal. So then the bottom two graphs had sample sizes of n equals 5, uh, 5, sorry, and n equals 20. So if you remember from the activity, both came out to be normal distributions. The n equals 5 was a little bit more wide and flat, whereas the n equals 20 was a little bit more skinny and put together. And again, that's about variability in sample size. But both were normal distributions. So again, no matter what the sample size is. So we don't have to do the large counts condition. No large counts condition like we did with the other two sections with the sample count, sample proportion. Okay. So then uh, this is just like a, a summary thing. So when you're describing the sampling distribution of a sample mean when the sampling comes from a normal population, your mean of your sampling distribution will be mu, the population mean, and your standard deviation will be the, the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of n. Those are the two things you'll use to build your normal distribution. Okay. All right, cool. So let's do a problem together here. So it says, uh, example two, are those peanuts underweight at the P Nutty Peanut Company dry roasted shelled peanuts are placed in jars labeled 16 ounces by a machine. The distribution of weights in the jars is approximately normal with a mean of 16.1 ounces and a standard deviation of 0.15 ounces. Use the probability sets applet to find the probability that the mean weight of 10 randomly selected jars is less than the advertised weight of 16 ounces. So this is like real life, right? So a company advertises 16 ounces per, you know, jar of peanuts, are you really getting what you off, what you asked for? I think of this a lot of times when I buy potato chips, right? It says eight ounces, but this bag is like super small. This bag's a little bit bigger, but they always say eight ounces. One has more air in it. You know, I always think of it getting gypped, right? And it always seems like when I sit down and eat the potato chips, they all, they all are gone before I even know it. Anywho, um, so we need to build our normal distribution. So first off, let's find our, uh, population values. So the mean of the population is right here, 16.1. Uh, the distribution is approximately normal with a mean of 16.1 ounces and a population standard deviation of 0.15 ounces. And the sample sizes we're looking at are 10. So the mean of our sampling distribution for X bar is equal to the mean of the population, 16.1 ounces. Make sure you label. And the standard deviation of the sampling distribution for X bar is equal to the population standard deviation divided by the square root of 10. I will do that on my calculator here, handheld. So 0.15 divided by the square root of 10. And I got, I'm gonna round it like this. So I got 0 0.0474. And that'd be ounces as well. Okay, so this will help me find my Z value and whatnot. And then the last thing I will uh, do is I will highlight this in the problem. It says that the distribution of weights is approximately normal. So this problem is or can be approximated normally. So just make sure you state that. Remember, no large counts condition. So now it's time to talk about the probability. So what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the probability that the mean weight X bar is less than advertised weight of 16 ounces. I'm trying to find the probability that our sample mean is actually less than 16 ounces. Well, let's find our Z score. To find your Z score, you're gonna take your value. Our value is 16 minus your mean, 16.1. And now it's the mean of the sampling distribution and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. And divide that point, 0, so, or 0, 4, 7, 4. So the top is negative 0.1 divided by 0 0.0474.
I got a Z value of, now watch, I'm going to write down what I have in my calculator, negative 2.1097. I went around to three decimals. So this seven makes the nine become a 10. So your Z value is negative 2.110. Okay. So again, I don't need to see the work, but so far the things you should show me are, you should show me in the, in the edge elastic, you should show me those two things this approximately normal, and you should show me my Z value. I'd love to see this, right? Because that tells me you know what you're talking about, but that's, if you don't, that's fine. So now, instead of talking about X bar, now we're in terms of Z. So now we need to find the probability that Z is less than negative 2.110. And to do that, we're going to go to our probability stats applet. So all this is going to go away, and we're going to go find our answer. Stats applets, probability, this is a normal distribution, thank goodness. We're calculating an area because we want to find a probability. Our mean is zero, our standard deviation is one, and we're less than, so that's to the left of, negative 2.110. And there's our answer, right? So this is truly our answer. So the probability that Z is less than negative 2.110 is 0 0.0174. That's your probability. And again, you would just cut and paste this graph, okay? So that is roughly a 1.74% chance that the sample mean is going to be less than advertised. And again, any company who does any, any, any quality testing wants to have right their products filled to standard, right? If 16 is the standard, then they all better be at least 16. If some are over 16, that's okay. I don't want to put too many over 16 or else I'll lose money. Um, so again, it's all about quality control and that's how probability can help you figure this out, okay? And again, means, uh, you guys like proportions. You like to ask people questions. That's great. But means to me are more important because means are about measurement. It's about quality testing. Um, it's about results, okay? So there are important mean problems out there. All right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helps and uh, you do your homework well. All right.